Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, we'll find out. My name is Curtis, and I have two goals. First off, just to inform you, and secondly, is to see how much money you can make on YouTube. So, on every video I post, I will say how much money I've made so far. And since this is the first video, I haven't made anything yet. What we got here is a whole bunch of different kinds of fuel. This is jet fuel. Um, the reason I made this video is because I don't like the myth that jet fuel is so flammable and so exotic and so dangerous. So I got all the different fuels. We can compare them all. This is jet fuel, Jet A. So those of you that have that 737 sitting in the backyard, you'll use this. Diesel. Diesel, obviously, in semi trucks and pickup trucks and, uh, yeah, some cars that run on diesel. Heating oil for those on the East Coast. Uh, a lot of people use heating oil instead of propane or natural gas. Obviously, a lot still use the natural gas, but some people use heating oil, so that's what that is. Kerosene. Okay, obviously, you know what kerosene is using the old lights. They don't use it too much anymore, but here you go. Avgas or 100 low lead. So those of you that have your Cessnas out there, Cessna little piston aircraft, okay? Internal combustion engines, not jet aircraft, but piston type aircraft. This is what you'll use. And finally, good old fashioned gasoline. Everybody knows what that is, using your cars. We also, as a side note, got butane. Um, this is often used in the lighters and propane, which you use to heat your house and cook your barbecue. So let's get started. We're gonna see if we can catch any of these on fire. All right, so first on the docket is jet fuel. Um, I was actually surprised when I started doing this at how many different colors there are of the different fuels, but jet fuel is totally clear. As you can see, I, I'm not seeing any color. Some people say it has a straw color if you look it up on like Wikipedia or something like that, but to me, it looks totally clear and we're gonna see if this stuff burns. Let's open this up. All right, and let's do this. Ah, it just goes out. Let's put another one in. Try it slower here. Remember, this is jet fuel. Same thing they put in the Boeing 737s, Airbus A380. Okay, got that match burning nice and slow in there. And... Nope, it just quits. All right, let's try a different method. All right, you probably can't see the flame on there, but you can probably hear it, hear it. There we go. That's kind of cool, there's thermals in there, but it's not burning, not burning flames right in there. Okay, so why is that? Well, it has to be atomized, atomized. So in a jet engine, they have nozzles that spray it in a fine mist. Fine mist, it'll burn. All right, let's try that. So changing my setup, I got a little squirt sprayer and we got the propane torch going. If you can hear it a little bit, it's pretty quiet. We're gonna try spraying a little bit of jet fuel. Atomized, individual atoms, okay? That's what makes it flammable. But yet, when you don't, it doesn't do this. Get all that diesel out of there. Or sorry, diesel, jet fuel. All right, so that's jet fuel. So next up, we got diesel. Now diesel kind of has a green color to it. Eh, kind of yellow, maybe straw. And ta-da, it's like a little bit thicker than uh, jet fuel. Um, in fact, a lot of times it's called diesel oil because um, it is, it's very oily. If you get it on your fingers, it's just like, ooh, I got some slippery stuff on them. But let's see if this stuff burns, all right? Open her up. Uh, nope, it went out. As soon as I dropped it in the fuel, there was just a little bit of the wood still burning, but it went out. See that? Nothing. Try it one more time. Ah, it went out again. All right, let's get some more heat out. All right, so we got the torch here running. Oh, we got a little bit of flame on it. Look at that, it's burning just a little bit. Put the cover back on. <laughs> Sucks itself in. There we go. So diesel does burn, just barely. All right, next up I have 
heating oil. All right, now, some of you might know my secret about this. Heating oil is actually exactly the same as diesel. Um, what's the different colors? They actually dye heating oil, this red color, because you don't pay road tax on it. All right, so you know this uh, federal government charges, I think, 17 cents per gallon for diesel. Um, and the state, I think the state of Washington is 41 cents per gallon for uh, fuel that's used on the road. However, if you heat your house with heating oil, you don't pay that tax. So what's to prevent you from just putting this in your car? Well, the color. If you are pulled over and they dip your tank and they find out there's red fuel in there, it is a big fine. But these two should be exactly the same. Diesel, heating oil, same thing, but we'll check. Same thing, open her up. And we'll throw a match in. Nope, went out. All right, one more time, throw a match. Come on, light. Ah, it went out. Let's get out the big guns. Hmm. This one's not lighting. Oh well. So, now you know why it's red. It's when they make it, it's not really red, it's just diesel. And uh, they just put it, make it red so that way you can't put it in your truck. Next up, kerosene. Now I know it's red. Um, so where I got the kerosene, it was at a pump, uh, just like you fill your car up. And I believe they dyed it red just so you didn't put it in your truck because kerosene can actually be put in a diesel engine as well. So this regular diesel during the summer it's fine, works great, but when you get it cold enough, it turns into gel. Um, it's kind of like a candle wax. I'll show you that in a second here. But this stuff, kerosene, doesn't turn into a gel until a lot colder temperatures, uh, but it can be used in a diesel. So let's see if it burns. Same thing. Ah, it went out. Eventually I gotta drop it in because it burns to my finger, so try it again. It's kind of a puff there. Nope, nothing. Oh, there's a little flame on there. I don't think it's there anymore. So you can get it to barely burn. I think a lot of what it is is it's just heating up so it's it's releasing enough molecules into the atmosphere, evaporating. So just as a quick recap, these four fuels do not really burn. These are all kind of in the same family. In fact, they're all pretty much interchangeable. Um, there are propeller driven aircraft that are powered by diesel engines that can they'll run just fine on Keras or uh, Jet A. Um, kerosene is used you know, in Alaska during the winter when diesel fuel would gel up and put in a diesel engine. Um, these two are exactly the same except for the coloring. We've got diesel and heating oil. These are all very similar. Jet fuel, the characteristics that they want is that it doesn't absorb water. Um, so you don't want water getting in the, in the fuel, which diesel is renowned, renowned for absorbing water. Um, you also don't want it gelling up when you're at altitude. I mean, they fly over the North Pole with this stuff. Diesel fuel, heating oil will gel up when they get too uh, cold. So jet A, more refined, a little bit better, but these are all in the same family. All right, now we get to the interesting one. This right here is 100 low lead or av gas as they call it. Um, it is a little bit blue. You can see a little bit of blue in there. Um, they, they add the dye to make it blue. Um, but yeah, so this is used in piston engines are required to, to fly. Now, it, it's, it's very similar to um, regular auto gas. They don't put any ethanol in it because ethanol would absorb water. They don't want aviation fuel absorbing water because if it does, um, and the engine pulls that in, it won't run. If your car quits running on the side of the road, you know, shoot, bad day. If your engine quits running in your airplane, 
really bad day. Um, and they also add a little bit of lead to this um, to make the octane rating 100. Now they're trying to phase out the lead, um, so there might not be 100 low lead, but there will be avgas, some replacement for this stuff. All right, so avgas is one of the ones that's more likely to actually catch fire. So we'll see here in just a second. Oh yeah, see? Got a little bit of flame on the top there. It's not a huge flame, but it is burning, okay? This is used in a regular piston spark plug type engine. So that explains why it burns. It has to atomize in a carburetor, unlike diesel. Put this on here. There we go. Put it out just like that. And the last one that we're gonna do right now, gasoline. Now I'm sure everybody is familiar with gasoline. Um, it has kind of a, a yellow color. It's actually very similar to diesel. Here, here's the diesel. And here's the gasoline. It's a little bit lighter, straw, yellow. Uh, diesel's a little bit darker. I mean, diesel's a lot thicker. Gasoline is like water. Diesel's more like, has an oil. They're not anything close to the same, but the colors, very similar. And gasoline, I'm pretty sure, as you know, as well as I do, it burns. This will be the one that burns the best, I'm guessing for now. And you can smell it. You smell that, that is a good sign that it is flammable because it has to, has to be atomized in order to burn. All right, so we'll step back here just a little bit. Okay, so there you go, it burns. Very similar to uh, Aviation Fuel 100 low lead, a little bit bigger. And you can just put it out, putting the cover on there. There we go. Burns nice. And uh, as it heats up, it'll start burning more, obviously. So that's why when it started, it wasn't that big, but there we go. See? Got a little flame there. That's uh, regular gasoline. All right, so these two are in the same family. Um, 100 low lead av gas and gasoline. Um, they both require a spark plug to run. They have high octane ratings and uh, they both evaporate a little bit. You know, if you leave them out, you can smell them more. Um, diesel and jet fuel, you, I mean, they smell a little bit, but uh, not to the extent that these ones do. They evaporate. That evaporation is what's burning, not the liquid. All right, well, I hope you learned something today and enjoyed it. Um, so once again, I did uh, burn this jet fuel using a spray nozzle. Uh, however, these three will burn the same way. Uh, the heating oil, diesel, and kerosene all will do the same thing. Uh, and they're in the same family. They're very similar to each other despite the different colors. Remember the dyes in these two. That's why they're red. They're dyed. They're not actually that color. And uh, these two are in the same family. And the blue is actually a dye as well, so you know that it's um, 100 low lead for your airplanes. So on an airport, these two fuels are available. You're for piston aircraft, for jet aircraft, you don't want to mix the two, so they put a little bit of dye in the, uh, in the piston aircraft fuel. And then, then regular gasoline, they're in the same family. They both require spark plugs to ignite, have high octane ratings, lower octane ratings. And the last two, these have to be contained because they will all evaporate. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, so just to prove that diesel can do it, here you go. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's diesel. Burns actually better than jet fuel. So here's the same thing. This is heating oil. Same setup, just to show that it's flammable. Ooh, yeah. Okay, proves the point.